Hello again. We're coming back to you live with our road trip series, part two. Who knows what kind of antics we'll get up to next. Part two. Part two. Part two. Oh! <laughs> All right, all right, all right. So the next stop on our road trip was Mobile, Alabama. So we grabbed the campsite at Shady Acres Campground. It's about 20 minutes outside downtown Mobile. Nice, quiet campground. They had a little path that brought you to the water. Really, really pretty. We were only going to spend one full day in Mobtown. So we got up nice and early and got to the Maritime Museum first thing in the morning. Golf Quest was a cool place. Definitely worth a couple bucks to get in. Uh, they had a lot of exhibits and a whole bunch of interactive stuff. Considering I'm a sailor by trade, I definitely enjoyed most of the exhibits. Insert plug for my other YouTube channel. Boom. I'm pretty sure Bridget enjoyed it just as much as I did. The Helm Simulator at the end of the tour is especially cool. It's nowhere near as intense as actually steering a ship, but it's still pretty cool. After the museum, the plan was to explore downtown Mobile. Obviously, we started at the museum, but from there we would use three breweries as checkpoints to explore most of downtown, using Dolphin Street as the main highway. <laughs> downtown Mobile definitely had a New Orleans type vibe. If you don't have a friend in the world, you'll find one here. Iron Hand Brewing. Beer was okay, the food was good, and the staff was awesome. Okay, IPA, beer mosa, blonde, wheat. I think we may have walked into every single store on the street. Most of the shops were super cozy and unique, very cool vibes. And if you were looking for a conversation, the store owners were more than happy to talk to you. That's amazing. Yeah, it's, it's, my house almost looks exactly like Southern hospitality at its finest. Look at this, look how good that is, that's crazy. I love a brewery that has a big old pile of games. Bridget and I usually have a pretty good back and forth when it comes to playing games. Well, most of the time. Don't worry, she redeemed herself. No, I didn't know, I didn't see that. <laughs> the 
dude at Old Majestic gave me a beer straight from the cast. It's pretty cool, never had that before. After the breweries, Bridget was on a mission to find a good Mexican burrito. After we found some burritos, somehow we ended up at a goddamn Dungeons and Dragons burlesque show. The show was a great time though. Good energy, lots of laughs. I'll never look at a minotaur the same way, but whatever. Body in motion stays in motion. So we ended up at some random bar shooting pool with a couple of locals. Girls, if you ever see this video, it was a pleasure meeting you. You guys were a blast. We seriously had a full freaking day. Started off at a museum early in the morning, ended up at a sex show late night. It was getting kind of late, things were starting to get out of hand, so we got a much needed Uber back to the RV. And that morning, a hangover miracle was about to occur. Last night, we went to this place, Brewster's. Mop town. In Mop town. I was <laughs> starving. And all I wanted was Mexican food. And we went, and I was too hungry, so we ordered the trio of delicious dips and chips. And by the time the food came, we weren't really hungry anymore. So I had two bites of an absolutely perfect, delicious <laughs> burrito that I was so looking forward to like devouring today as I'm hung over and starving. What the f is that? What the f What the f Don't even f eat me. Carry it around. All night, just a last minute for some bartender's like 8,000 piece wing set. It's tragic. It's so tragic. Oh. <laughs> so I don't feel like going on. Snow clear path, plus the road is long.